What is going on, movie fans, horror fans? We're going to be talking about Insidious, the last key today. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I did watch the movie the other day, so it's going to be a late review, but I might as well go ahead and review a few guys. Um, first off, let me say that I've seen all the movies, and I don't remember all of them by heart, but I'm going to do my best to review this for you guys out of my own opinion. Now, again, this is just my thoughts. Um, no bashing the writers, the actors, the... Uh, producers or the writers or anything of that nature again this is my own opinion and i'm gonna give you guys the best uh description of the story uh to to my bear's best ability so let's go ahead and get started shall we um it does take place um in the beginning of at least the uh the parapsychologist as a young girl <clears throat> when she's still learning her abilities she has a young brother named christian her father does not like her abilities he thinks that she's making it up just to get attention so he really he really beats her at, at this point in time in her life and <clears throat> one of the times where her brother gets very scared she gets led into the basement after her father puts her there and she basically is shown a door and she opens it without her knowledge which is the red door and this is a demon that controls all the red doors and it gets unleashed into her world and it kills her mother at a very young age and then she does wake up and it half from a nightmare and then she unfortunately does get a call from someone that now lives her in her own house in new mexico she has not been there since she ran away from it when she was a teenager and then it goes into where the ones that are living with her that are her um her assistants, they basically tell her, okay, we're going to go with you. So they go, and they meet the one in the Mexico out of her own, from her home that he said that, oh, he heard all the stories and everything that's happened to her. And she basically starts remembering everything that happened to her <clears throat> with um, when she first ran away from seeing someone in the laundry room and her father threatened her and then she ran away and her brother got left there and she actually got grabbed by someone when she found uh, her brother's um, almost like a weenie whistle is pretty much what it reminded me of that their mother gave him if he ever got scared he could whistle and no matter where <clears throat> she was she'd be able to hear it and she it got taken from her in the basement and they, she says okay that's enough for today so then they go to a uh, diner and she's like do I look okay and they're like yeah why so next thing they see these two girls come in and of course the guys are really interested in them and they're like you know this is you know this is what we do and everything of that nature she says you look really familiar and she says oh i'm sorry she says i'm just being you know a bug she's oh no 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 you're not being a bug so next thing you know come to find out that they are her nieces her brother has been living in that town still he's a lot older and she basically tells him you know did i age that much he blames her for leaving so they kind of leave and she has a moment with her nieces that say don't worry we're going to get through to him and she says well here have him take this and and maybe he'll want to talk to me and after that happens they go back to the house and they go further in deep to look into um <clears throat> basically the houses and she basically goes in the basement she uses the wing whistle basically saying okay once for yes twice for no is there an evil spirit here and, and she answers all these questions and come to find out it is spirits living there but not as of right now uh there is a girl being held by the current owner and she is basically being a slave or a prisoner and he tries to um kill them as well and one of the assistants kills him in the process and then of course the cops show up and she basically finds out that this has been a missing girl she's been missing for months so they pretty much saved her and then they answer questions from the police and then she starts getting visions um when she was older when, when she starts going to the police station and she starts seeing another woman and she starts seeing that later on in the film that this was not just this woman which i'll get here into a second and then of course her brother shows up into the house with his daughters and they're looking for the weenie whistle and then the one of the daughters goes into the basement after her and her father saying hey i found it so she's like where are you at and she gets attacked by the demon that apparently quote unquote has the keys to the red doors and he basically takes her spirit and she's into like a coma <clears throat> and then the um, ambulance shows up because they hurry up because they know she now knows at least now knows that there's something evil in that house that she did release and she's going to end it so she tells them we're staying we're going to end this tonight and she tells her other niece this and she tells him she tells her brother she tells her other niece to go to the hospital with her her other niece informs her no i'm gonna stay with you she says i see things too and she starts informing her that she basically has the same ability her aunt does 
and it tells her, okay, well, if we're going to do this, then we need to do this uh, properly. So her aunt does go into, unfortunately, the other world because she does get taken later on in the movie because she soon realizes after finding a dress in the, um, the AC unit, her father did the same thing as this current owner did to uh, women. He basically found them in the woman that she saw when she was younger was an actual woman. It wasn't a spirit. It was basically people that her father was taking and killing due to what the demon wanted and turned him into something that was just completely evil because the demon fed on fear. It, it fed on violence. It fed on anger. And the demon does take her soul and Elise is now unconscious. And they're like, okay, well, how are we going to go after her? And then her niece basically volunteers to go in. So they hypnotize her. She does go into the spirit realm. She meets one of the spirits that basically helps her to find her aunt. And then she finds her aunt basically, uh, finding her father's spirit here her father's spirit is now being tortured and she takes out all her anger on her father and she does get yelled at by her niece saying stop and then she finally does come to her senses that you know it wasn't really her father's fault that all this happened it was more between of just losing his wife and having a child he did not understand as well as this demon that was making him do things he would normally not do and she basically tells the demon that, you know, you're not going to do this and <clears throat> I'm not going to feed you no more. And then as soon as that happens, he attacks her as well as her niece. And she basically is about ready to fight him. But then her father comes in and tries to protect his daughter. And he says, I'm sorry. So his spirit does get destroyed. And now the demon has <clears throat> the two, her two nieces at basically dogs leashes is basically what it really reminded me of. And she says, get rid of them. She says, let them go. You can have me. And he basically hurts with one of Nisa's in a coma. And then as soon as that happens, he basically throws them and he attacks Elise and he is about ready to kill Elise. And then he starts poking her because he knows that she's the, the key to really get out and basically open up all the doors and do whatever he wants. And as soon as that happens, we see where the other niece that has the ability, she throws the key to Elise saying, here you go. And then she tries to open it and she blows the whistle and then her mother's spirit shows up and saves them. And she basically tells this thing, get the hell away from my little girl and destroys the demon. And when that happens, the other girl, she basically has to help her nieces to their bodies. And as soon as that happens, she does see her mom. She says farewell. She says, I don't have the word. She says, it's okay. She says, do what you keep doing. And she basically does her farewell to her mother. And then she goes into the world and she basically does say <coughs> her um, goodbyes to her nieces and her brother. And she does make um, peace with all of them. And when they're about ready to leave, there's another vision that she has while she's asleep, which we'll go into the second movie. And that's basically how that does end. So on, on this movie, it was possibly maybe a 7.5 out of 10. It was really interesting. It was a new take on the Insidious franchise. It was more of a take on Elise because she was a very interesting character about where she came from, how she gained this ability, how, she, how she, her, her life was when she had this ability. So I thought it was a really good movie. Um, you guys should go watch it. If you guys have not, go check it out. If you guys did, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below about the movie. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, consider about subscribing. If you guys are not new, then go ahead and punch that subscribe button as well as that like button. Links down in the description below. As normal, hope you guys again are enjoying your day. Um, it's a new week. Uh, more stuff coming to the channel this week. So much from different stuff. Don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing. Uh, just wait. And once that notification pops up for a new video, go ahead and watch it. I'll see you guys on the next one.